true feats of engineering, these creations have purportedly become ecological breakthroughs, as marine ecologists claim these plots of paradise to be the new face of the future. Here, we explore 11 of the world's most incredible artificial islands. Eleven, Liberty Island. Or at least it should be named Liberty Island. The Ile aux Cygnes, also known as Swan Isle, is a small artificial atoll in the Seine River in Paris. Located between the 15th and 16th arrondissement, the island was originally formed in 1827 in order to protect the river port of Grenelle. While there are three bridges that cross the area and a beautiful tree-lined walkway, Another attraction brings visitors to this beautiful river island. One of the major features is the one-fourth scale Statue of Liberty replica, which faces in the direction of the original Statue of Liberty in New York. It's a rather peaceful place, as one can appreciate the quietude and nature in the center of the Seine. 10. The Pearl Qatar This reproduction of land is an impressive anomaly based upon sheer size alone. Set in Doha, Qatar, this artificial island stretches four square kilometers wide and was built primarily for freehold ownership by foreign nationals, a place for expatriates to build a solid home base. The island saw a jump in population from 3,000 residents in 2011 to 12,000 in 2015. This surge in Pearl Qatar's inhabitants promoted the building of impressive entertainment facilities for both residents and tourists alike. Developed by the United Development Company, this man-made masterpiece made history by being the first island in Qatar open to ownership by emigrant entities. The goal of the development will oversee 32 kilometers of new coastline, with an expectation of 18,831 dwellings and 45,000 residents in the near future. 9. The Amwaj Artificial Islands Two things make the Middle Eastern world go round plenty of water and plenty of money. These are the two ingredients necessary in the construction of man-made islands, which is why you will find some of the finest artificial accomplishments in this region alone. The Amwaj artificial islands were constructed near Bahrain in the Persian Gulf and are quite the spectacle when viewed from an aeroplane. As of 2002, the Amwaj mission became the first ever of its kind to begin the construction of artificial islands. It was also the first project in Bahrain to offer full freehold land ownership to expat residents. The island contains residential, commercial, hotel and retail buildings, as well as a stunning marina. Other perks include a respected school and university, theme parks and a separate precinct for dining and entertainment alone. Each island bears its own unique shape to take full advantage of the highly sought-after coastline as the Amwaj district represents a large increase in highly sought-after waterfront properties. 8. Tokyo Disneyland There isn't anything Disney can't do, even making their own artificial islands with which to splash more of their magic and keep the inner imagination alive. Tokyo Disneyland is an internationally renowned theme park in Japan set on a man-made island off the coast of Chiba. Here, they've built a Disney dreamscape consisting of five hotels surrounded by theme parks, as well as four airports. Even though this fantastical kingdom looks like the lair of a Disney villain, with its drawbridge entrances and embellished pirate ships, tourists flock to the majestic Tokyo Resort. The park is over 30 years old, and it's the first rendition built outside the United States. 7. The World Islands Talk about a wonder of the world! This true testament to human capability can be found in the Persian Gulf, a stunning masterpiece among many other sets of man-made islands located in Dubai. This one is special, as the striking set of islands depicts a miniature version of the world floating in the centre of the sea. A serene sight to behold and a breathtaking view from a topographical angle. This carefully crafted archipelago is made up of small islands that are roughly placed according to our world map. Every tiny tuft of land measuring about 100 meters apart. The islands are composed of sand dredged from the shallow coastal waters of Dubai. It was conceived by the ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, who evidently wanted the heart of the world right there at his fingertips. 
Before we continue, take this opportunity to subscribe to What Lurks Below and hit the bell to get notified of future releases. 6. Garbage Island This trash-covered atoll, technically named Hilafushi, but dubbed Garbage Island by most, is a place you would never think to associate with the Maldives. In a place where postcards are made from the golden rays flickering off crystal sand and tranquil waters, there's no wonder millions of tourists flock to the luxury resorts here every year. Yet, to the west of Mail, geographically connected to the Vadu Channel, an artificial island was built on reclaimed coral reefs in 1992. This environment is not so stunning, as the island's sole purpose was to act as a municipal dumping ground for over 300 tonnes of trash and debris. In 2005, it was estimated that 31,000 truckloads teeming with trash are transported to Garbage Island annually, and due to these numbers, the area is growing at an astonishing rate of 10 square feet every day. 5. Flamingo Island There are two wow factors linked to this man-made landmass in the Camphers Dam Lake, South Africa. First, the island takes the shape of a giant S. When seen from an aerial point of view, and second, the site is an important breeding ground for the lesser flamingo. Here you'll find that less is more, for almost 50,000 hot pink birds can be found here. Ever since its construction by a Kappa Minning, using 26,000 tons of material to build the island back in 2006, due to the lesser flamingo becoming a near endangered bird, nature conservation scientist Mark Anderson fulfilled a long lived dream to build a bird sanctuary. The initial years of the project were immensely successful, with Camphor Dam admired as the only breeding ground in the country, and the fourth in Africa. The birds flocked to every corner of the S-shaped atoll, with flashes of pink everywhere, as the birds could be seen taking flight or grazing the glossy waterways. That is, until deteriorating water quality and rising water levels deemed the island in high danger. Today, the flamingos don't even get close to laying eggs as decreasing water levels drop too quickly in summer and leave nests dry and exposed to harm. 4. The Palm Islands On the coast of Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, one can find three sets of man-made islands. The Palm Islands. Of all three projects, only one island is complete so far. The Palm Jumeirah, aptly shaped like a large palm tree. From an aerial view, this circular land formation looks like a landing strip for an extraterrestrial spacecraft. Yet from the ground, the area is bustling with a large number of residential properties, entertainment centers, and the sparkling Atlantis Resort. This unique archipelago was constructed using land reclamation by a UAE government company, Nakil. And while the Palm Jamira is the original and smallest of the three, the other projects will be bigger replications of the first. The Palm Islands transcend out into the glistening Persian Gulf, and critics consider this speck of paradise to be one of the most stunning pieces of artificial topography the world has ever seen. 3. The Artificial Islands of Uros This curious range of bundled grasses with its reed-roofed housing is like stepping back in time. It is here that the Uros, a pre-Incan group of people in Peru, reside on artificial islands in Lake Titicaca. The man-made landmass was constructed from totora reeds growing along the edge of the lake and bundled together to make floating island platforms. The area has become a major tourist attraction ever since photographs splashed the glossy pages of National Geographic back in the 1940s. The indigenous group inhabits 42 of these man-made structures, each displaying 2 to 10 reed houses, depending on the size of the atoll. The biggest island features a watchtower, and the Uros depend on solar energy to run appliances and utilize lighting systems in their homes. They construct large reed boats, with a curled tail at one end and animal heads adorning the other. The islands stay afloat due to the gases produced by the decomposing reeds. However, as they rot fairly quickly, new reeds must be added every few months. In total, the islands are made to last about 30 years before they must be completely reconstructed. Tourism is having a negative impact on the Uros people and their makeshift civilization. They've lost their native language completely, and environmental and health issues are posing a threat to the culture there. The waters have been overfished by commercial fishermen, and sewage from Puno is putting the residents' health at risk. 
the hazards of modern man are seeping in. Seemingly, to infiltrate a world built to protect itself from the modern man itself, people can visit the artificial islands of Eros, but the smiles from the sun-kissed populants are slightly less than they were way back when a national publication stumbled upon their quaint little world. 2. China's not-so-secret secret What you do in China? From simple reef to complex island systems in less than a year, China's secret in the South China Sea has caused attention, and a little bit of alarm, at the speed and scale of that island-building spree. A recent announcement proudly renders the project near completion, as the process of moving sediment from the seafloor to a reef has put the foundation in check. Now all they need to focus on is construction. These new installations, the Spratly Islands, are a strategic scattering of land in the sea. More than 500 miles from the Chinese mainland, China regulates the primary foothold here. Despite six other countries with territorial claims on a few other islands in the area, yet China's new project allows them to harness a portion of the sea for their own use that had been out of reach until now. So far, China has built port facilities, military buildings, and a massive airstrip on the island, so it can land any type of aircraft, from air fighter jets to large transport aircraft. Currently, there are two large landing strips underway. Several reefs have been destroyed outright to serve as a foundation for the new islands, and the process is also causing extensive damage to the surrounding marine ecosystem. While China maintains that the islands will help extract natural resources from fisheries and oil reserves in the region, their main goal, seemingly, is to make sure everyone is clear on their national presence, and that this territory belongs to them and them alone. 1. Spiral Island Imagine the headline, Man lives with supermodel on an island made of recycled bottles. It's true, as Richard Sower, a British environmentalist and architect, is dedicated to living a self-sustaining life with his Japanese bride, a former supermodel who is as enthusiastic about their floating solar-powered fortress as he is. Made from 250,000 recycled plastic bottles and collected seashells, Soa is an eco-friendly genius who built the entire abode with his own two hands. Welcome to Spiral Island in Mexico, which was originally built back in 1998 and consisted of a stable three-storey home with three showers, two pools, a jacuzzi, and a wave-powered washing machine. Using trash and natural materials for the base, Soa built a 20 by 16 meter island, held afloat by a net containing all of the 250,000 water bottles. Plywood and bamboo were used for the groundwork, which is then covered by buckets of sand to provide soft ground for walking. The designer then planted a series of mangrove trees to help maintain climate control, which would help keep the island cool. If this isn't an impressive feat, Soa has constructed his dreamy island mansion, not once, but two separate times. Sadly, the structure was completely destroyed back in 2005 by Hurricane Sandy, yet shortly after, he began rebuilding the island to make it bigger and better. The new and improved 2008 version has been named Joixi Island and include the addition of a solar-powered waterfall and floating river. The island continues to grow, and the property is open for visits, as well as a small donation toward the cause. Soa is living proof that we can build anything we put our minds to, but who ever said that man can't build his own paradise? Before we go, we have a quick question for our viewers. Could you see yourself living on an artificial island in the future? Why or why not? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.